Okay, YouTube and the rest of the world. This is Justin. I am Dylan. We have come here today to give you the most, probably the most amazing report on diphenhydramine or sleep aid or Benadryl, Unisom, whatever you want to call it, because we have done a lot of sleep aid. More of this, dude, but we've definitely done tons and tons of fucking sleep aid. <clears throat> not gloating. It's not a no, good, it's definitely not, a good not thing. gloating. It's not fucking thing. bad, dude. Like I am fucked up from it permanently, I think, and this dude definitely is too. <clears throat> but anyways. So we've come to give you the report. Take it away. Well, pretty much you just don't ever want to do this drug. I'm going to say that because it's going to scare the fuck out of you. You're going to feel so fucking weird. You're going to be you know, like just the thought of being in front of anybody is going to scare the shit out of you. Pretty much. So you sit, you know, you'll lock yourself in a room or I mean, I, I on occasion would just sit in the bathroom for nine hours because... <laughs> Because I was so fucking scared to come out. Because I, you know, my dad would be sitting there, or, you know, back when I lived with my dad, you know. But uh, it's just fucking, it's crazy. But yeah, we got this little tablet here of notes. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and read these off to you. Just things that will happen, and things you'll say and do and fucking feel and shit, you know. First thing was hallucinations. The, first thing was hallucinations. <clears throat> It's not like, uh, during the day you probably won't have that many hallucinations, hallucinations, unless you're just so fucked up, you know, that you're just sitting there talking to a chair. But it's just, it's so easy to see stuff at night, because, you, just, you, you, you like, you'll see a shadow, and it just looks like something else. Yeah. So, you know, how, like, the clouds look like, you know, sometimes they look like a fucking cheeseburger, I don't know. You know, your chair, your chair will, you know become a person to you. <laughs> yeah. Like, you won't be sitting there talking to a chair thinking somebody's in the chair. You will be talking directly to the chair. <laughs> yeah. And, like, seriously, it's it's fucked up. It's it, like... It you're... throws off your perception of an of animate and inanimate, inanimate object. You know, yes. you, you can't tell the difference. I almost dated a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I swear to God, I almost asked her out. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I'm about to ask a fire extinguisher... On a date. To, to go on a fucking date. Alright, next point. I might as well just want to go home. The hallucinations are fucked up. It's it's a mental thing. It's it's weird. It's like a dream or a nightmare. It's it's crazy. But another another thing is like you can't talk to normal people. Like you could the only fucking people on the planet that you could talk to when you're tripping on sleep aid is other people tripping on sleep aid. Or somebody that's just totally cool with you. Yeah, on sleep or aid. someone that knows that you're tripping sleep aid and is cool with it. Because fucking nothing that you say for the time that you are high, will make any fucking sense at all. I mean, and if you do manage to, like, hang out with normal people, like, fucked up on sleep aid, I give you serious props. See, I, I can feat. do that. I can do that because I'm a lifer. I've just been doing this shit for so long. I mean, yeah, like, but if you're new to this, this is what we're telling you. Don't hang out around normal people. Don't it's not it. fucking an easy thing to do. They're immediately going to look at you and, yes. and say and say that you look like a zombie. Because yeah. that's literally what you look like when you're on sleep aid is a fucking zombie. Next, not, all right, ne next thing. We only got like three more minutes in this fucking video because my phone storage sucks. So anyway, next thing is don't try writing letters or texting. We already said texting. Letters, you're just going to forget what the fuck you're writing and start writing something else. And then the whole well, thing... Well, you'll see what we mean when we say writing letters. Because if you're like us, you'll just have this random urge to write people a letter. It's like weird. I mean, it, it happens to people. It's like one of these fucking things, you know, because a lot of people trip the same on sleep aid. So you never know. You might have this idea. But if you do have the idea, honestly, and it's your first time, write a fucking letter. And then read it tomorrow when you wake up. And then tell me you weren't... Fucked up, dude. You know what I mean? We got three minutes. All right, next point. Um, let's go to something. Your reflection will scare the fuck out of you. We're going to go through these points pretty quick now because we only got like two minutes left. All right, go. But uh, all right, your reflection is going to scare the fuck out of you. You're going to look in the mirror and you're not going to, you're, you're not, you're completely not going to recognize yourself. You're not going to know it's you. Yeah. That's if you take enough. And then sometimes you'll either, ha you'll either have a conversation with yourself uh, and actually answer, answer yourself because <laughs> you think that, you know, yeah. that, you know, okay. But... Um, next thing. You 100% will forget fucking everything. Yeah. You'll be in the middle of a sentence. Not even in the middle. Like, you're in the, you're in, like... In the very, like, in inception like, of the sentence. You're, you haven't even gotten it out if, yet. You're if, still thinking about it. If a sentence was a whole, 
you would be at one force and you'd completely forget mm -hmm. what you're talking about and then you think of something else and start writing that without a period without a comma without anything separating it it'll be like hi aunt julie my name is hey my friend had an alligator the other day john <laughs> Except it's worse than that because you can't give examples of the shit you would say on sleep aid when you're sober. It just doesn't make it sense. Just, it just doesn't happen. So, anyways, this is a big one for me. Don't fucking drive. Do not drive on sleep aid, yo. Because I've been living in the town that I live in for like 10 years now, right? I've, and I know this town. Like, I could fucking literally sleepwalk this place. But I'm driving around on sleep aid, yo. I'm forgetting where the fuck I'm at. Every time, guaranteed, I'm forgetting that I'm even driving. Like, you get fucked up dude so do not drive you'll just be cruising down the road and then you you'll be driving one minute and then out of nowhere you'll be like holy fuck i'm <laughs> driving <laughs> it's literally like that all right listen this kind of differs between people i personally don't like to have sex on it okay because like i, I get do. into this mode where i don't want to be touched by anybody i don't want i really don't even want to hear other people talk so, like, I can't have sex on it because just the feeling of, like, me, whoever I'm fucking touching me, like, makes me want to strangle them. It's weird. I turn into a really ruthless, hateful dude on sleep aid. Yeah, you get you get really agitated really easily. Yeah. You, you, you honestly could... You're probably capable of killing your family <laughs> oh, yeah. on it because you get no, so fucking mad. No, seriously, we've been in some fights before on sleep aid, so, like, for real. Here, I'll show you the last fight no, we got into come on, on sleep we're aid. Almost out. I'll show you the last fight we got into on sleep aid. Boom. Yeah. All right, let's finish this fucking video. Because we still have a couple more things to talk about. We got like two, like a minute. All right, no video games. Unless you want to just fall asleep playing your video game. Because I would wake up on Skyrim or Resident Evil and my dude would just be spinning in circles over and over. Don't text anybody. Nothing you say will make sense. It's like makes your, you can't close your, you can't have normal eyes when you're on sleep aid. You're always like... And you can't make normal faces at all. You'll fucking feel it. All right, la last point. This is going to be the best. Do not mix it with alcohol. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. All right. You mix sleep aid with alcohol. All right. It's you, over. Say, say you take 12 sleep aid. Yeah, you're fucked up. You know, people are, are, are people are already going to know you, that, that you're fucked up. You know, or you just get drunk. Okay, obviously, you're, you're the drunk guy. But when you mix sleep aid with alcohol and... I mean, if you mix just a little bit, you'll feel good. You'll feel fine. You won't black the fuck out. But if you just... One Even sip, slightly one overdo sip, it. one sip too much, and you're blacked out. It's last over. time, last time that happened to me, first thing I did was I hid behind my fucking my entertainment center and just sat on the ground. And my my whole, my whole family was in the living room wondering why I'm sitting behind the the entertainment center. And then I pulled my pants down, bit my dad's finger. I mean, pants and underwear down to the floor in front of my whole entire family and my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> and I pulled my pants down to the fucking floor, tried pissing in a garbage can. Bite my dad's finger, and then tried to climb out the, the first story living room window when there's a door two feet away. I could have just opened the door, went outside. I'm trying to climb out the window. Everybody in my family is like, what the fuck is this kid doing? You, it's All fucking right. terrible. That's our tutorial on sleep aid, everybody. Good night. Love you.